The Beavers rebounded in Pullman with some rediscovered shooting touches. Peyton led all with 26 points, but his 11 assists were spread out among Earl Martin's 22-point effort, another 11 by Alan Celestine, and a season-high 16 by Scott Haskin, who unveiled a long-coming but deadly hook shot. All those who thought they would wait for the game of the week Saturday against UCLA got what they deserved. They missed OSU, Gill Coliseum, and Pac-10 history as Gary Payton knifed through USC for 40 points after the half and a school record 58 total. The Beavers needed it all to best an improved USC outfit in overtime. Final score, 98-94. The finale for seniors Peyton, Martin, McIntosh, and Wold will always stick in their minds. A win over UCLA is the biggest hurdle towards clinching the top seed at the tournament as conference champions. The Bruins climbed back from a 12-point first-half deficit to lead by seven when the Orange Express ran them over. Five Beavers in double figures as OSU scored the next 13 points and beat UCLA for the ninth time in the last 11 Gill Coliseum meetings. could clinch the Pac-10 championship in Tempe. They did so in a very bizarre game, one full of strange dunks I'm hot, I'm hot, you're and not. some hot-headed coaches. Well, I'm hot. The Beavers won the tip in Tucson, and that's about all, as Arizona claims half of the conference crowd in McHale Center, despite some last-minute fireworks from Bob Cavill, Kevin Harris, and Charles McKinney. Rings and things, it was the players' theme for the year. The team had accomplished half their goal, the ring. Among the things to come, advancement into postseason play for the 11th time in the last 12 years, a fact that could leave any crew content. The seniors, one of whom will remain a trivia question in Beaver record books for years, who replaced Gary Payton in his Guild Coliseum finale? The answer, sharp shooting bench leader Rich Wohl. Lamont McIntosh continued his workmanlike role for the Express in 1990. The blue collar board man from Omaha, Nebraska provided some key plays and valuable minutes down the stretch. Fifth and final year for a Gill Coliseum favorite. The classy, silent style of Earl Martin laid opponents to rest without so much as a whimper. Actually, Martin broke out this final season with a big play, the big shot, and more than an occasional pump of the fist. In 1990, he had reason to. Well, I say you not. Final senior? Well, if you haven't heard, where have you been? His talk is oh so bold. His play is sweet surprise. His hand is never.